Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. High temperatures this afternoon up compared to the past few days. Low 90s and a few upper 80s in the valley. This is really close to average for this time of the year, but we've just been below average for a while now. It seems like it was kind of a warm afternoon. 93 in Reading today and in Corning. 92 the afternoon high temperature in Red Bluff. And we got to 91 in Chico. 81 the afternoon high temperature in Mount Shasta City. 80 in Chester. 85 today in Paradise. And all those temperatures set to warm up even a little bit more tomorrow. But before we get to tomorrow, we've got to talk about tonight. We've got a lot of high school football games going on tonight. And it looks like a great night to get out there and check those games out. Kickoff temperatures in the middle 80s in the valley. Uh, for, uh, halftime temperatures, upper 70s. You can stand up and stretch your legs a bit. Fourth quarter, crunch time temperatures in the mid 70s. And again, it looks like just about a perfect night to get out there and watch a, a high school football game. As far as our Saturday goes, beginning of the big Labor Day weekend, you know, the Saturday before Labor Day last year, Redding and Red Bluff got up to 114 degrees. So tomorrow, we're going to reach middle and maybe upper 90s. That is a heck of a lot better than what we did last year as we started off the Labor Day weekend. 64 degrees at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 86 at noon tomorrow, 96 at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Still a little hazy out there, but nothing too bad as far as those temperatures are concerned. So overall, looks pretty good. Temperatures heating back up here in the next few days over the holiday weekend. Above average this holiday weekend. Skies have improved. The air quality has improved a whole bunch, but still a little bit hazy out there. Check this out. We're watching the Hearst fire. Normally, or at least the past couple of weeks, the smoke has been blowing northward into Siskiyou County. Today, a little light north wind is developing. That's blowing all the smoke here from the Hearst fire southward into Redding, Anderson, uh, Cottonwood, in those areas, and keeping things a little murky here in the far north end of the, sh of, uh, of the Sacramento Valley because of smoke from the Hearst fire. Smoke for the ranch fire. That's still a thing. Blowing into Glen County and Calusa County. And all of this is going to keep our skies just a bit hazy here over the weekend. Not terribly smoky, but a bit hazy out there. Locally smoky, I would think, near the uh, near the Hearst fire. So around Mount Shasta City and Dunsmuir and Weed, locally smoky skies there. Highs in the 80s and low 90s. Just hazy sunshine here on the Sierra de Cascades with highs in the mid-80s to low 90s. On the ridge, will be near 90 tomorrow afternoon. 91 in Paradise, 89 in Megalia and in Forest Ranch. In the north end of the valley, locally smoky tonight out there. Low temperatures a little warmer than we have been recently. Low 60s because of that little bit of a north breeze tonight. And tomorrow, which is going to help boost those temperatures tomorrow, into the upper 90s. Again, locally smoky again around Redding, City of Shasta Lake, and maybe towards Anderson. In the mid-valley, clear skies tonight, maybe a little hazy. Low temperatures near 60. Tomorrow, those afternoon highs, middle and maybe even upper 90s, maybe a little smoky towards Glen County. Your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast. The weekend is always in view, showing high temperatures now peaking in the mid-90s in Chico here through the holiday weekend and then slowly cooling down after that. Reading's forecast, red around 100 all three days of the holiday weekend and then slowly cooling down after that. So you might find yourself at the lake or on the river or something like that. We've partnered with Edlo Medical Center to provide you a few summer safety tips for the rest of summertime. And don't forget water and you know, sand if you're near a beach place. Uh, can reflect ultraviolet rays, increasing your risk of sunburns. If your shadow is short, well, it means the sun is high in the sky, and that's what it could burn you the most. So you might want to find shade or just grab the sunscreen at that time. And sunglasses and a hat always a good idea on a summer weekend. We, uh, if you want more summer safety tips, go to nlo.org slash summer safety. All right. Thank you, Chris. Under the lights tonight.